Welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursdays. My name is Robbie Hoyler and today I'm going to show you guys how to scale and 3D print a solid model from SolidWorks into a 3D printer. The great thing about the internet is that you can go on sites like GrabCAD and find different models and find concepts that you want to print pretty easily. And there's very little processing involved if you actually find a solid model. So once you actually find a model online that you want to print, often enough you have to scale it because it's not going to fit inside of your printer scope. Once you find a model you like, all you have to do, start in SOLIDWORKS, we're going to measure the size of this part. Now because this was probably done in real size scale, it's about 100 feet long, so we're going to need to scale this model down. So a model aircraft of this size would probably sell for a 170 second scale, so what we're going to do is use our scale command and we'll just type in 170 second. You can also put the scale tool in as a percent. And in my case, because my planes are aligned via the origin, I'm going to scale about the origin so that I keep my locations all the same. Once I hit scale, you'll see it's down here and it's resized. We'll check the measurement again to see how large it is. And now it's about 18 inches long. So in a printer bed where it's a 10 by 10 cube for the base, we can actually take this and divide it in half into two parts and connect them together. One way we can use the split command to divide this model up is to take a plane like this and we can pattern a series of planes like so. And we can divide the part up and then when we launch the split command, all we have to do is put all of these planes in as cutting tools, like so. And every section in between these planes can be turned into a solid body using the split tool. And you can save these parts out and rename them as necessary. You will probably have to put tabs on these so that you can connect them after they uh, have been printed. So make sure you do that. Another way you can split this part into multiple bodies is to use a sketch. So where these two surfaces intersect, I use the convert entities command and I drew a line that completely intersects this body here. Now I can use the split command again. And one important thing to note, when you're using these cut tools and you cut the part, you can select these two bodies here that you want to keep. But if you want to create separate part files, you need to rename them. So in this case, I'll name one the nose and one the tail. Once you have a cut extrude notch in the tail, and then similarly a tab for the nose so that they fit together, you're ready to 3D print. In the 2015 version of SOLIDWORKS, if you have Windows 8.1, you can print directly from your 3D printer. It'll be selectable here, and all you have to do is select a plane where you want the bottom of the model to sit on the bed. And there are a few other settings that are going to vary, uh, of course, depending on what kind of printer you have. Uh, you may also save this out as an STL and import it into the software of the printer. But from here, you know, this makes a really nice tool for post-processing uh, these models so that you can split them apart, 3D print them, and, you know, make what you want. This has been TPM's 3-Minute Thursdays. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.